Hello everybody, Dan here with The Wealth Instinct. I wanted to share with you my, my latest article, what is the best way to become an entrepreneur? But first, if you could do me a favor and just subscribe to the my YouTube channel and click the bell icon um, so you get notifications of all my new content. Uh, I, I typically share articles about business, um, being a business owner, entrepreneurship, and, and personal growth. So what is the best way to become an entrepreneur? Um, how can you how can you put all the pieces together and, and figure out how to do, how to make it work? And this is what I was struggling with years ago. I, I felt like it was a puzzle that needed to be solved, and I just I didn't know where to start. Um, but I just knew that I'd always wanted to be a business owner, and um, I'd always dreamed about it. And I, I I thought about maybe getting an MBA or going to work for a small business because um, I had a pretty good paying job at the time, and I thought well. Maybe I should go work for a small business owner, but I, I think what stopped me is I didn't want to take like a huge pay cut, and I assumed that I would have to. Of course, that's not necessarily true. Um, but I was looking at all the different options, and I wanted to kind of go through this. So I, I actually, um, I know a couple business owners who, who told me they never dreamt of being a business owner, and it kind of shocked me when I heard this. One of them was telling me the story of how he was an accountant and he worked for an, uh, a guy who owned his own accounting firm. And one day the guy, his boss was like, hey, I, I want to sell you the business. And my friend was like, what? <laughs> uh, I don't want your business. Um, but, you know, ultimately they negotiated and worked through it and, and talked about how they could make it make it work and, and agreed to everything. And so my friend was able to take over the business. Um, he was able to buy it from his boss. And and um, and now he's, you know, he's a successful business owner, but he is something he never really wanted. Um, I have another friend who was a freelance um, artist, basically, um, filmmaker, and he told me he never wanted to be a business owner. But um, just the nature of his business and working, doing the jobs he was doing, um, he got to a point where it, it just made sense for them to 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 start a bit their business. He went in with a partner. But so they were a little different from me because they – it wasn't something they dreamt about and wanted to do. For me, I always wanted, to, I always dreamt of it, and it was something that I always wanted to do. But um, I didn't really know where to start. And um, basically, I would, you know, read books. I, I found some local classes at like the local night school, the you know, the small business education center. Um, I I really looked into getting an MBA, and I thought that I'd always wanted an MBA. And then when I started to look into it, I thought. You know, this is really about making a career transition. This is really about how to teach you how to be an employee, you know, an employee that runs other people's businesses. And I, I didn't want to go to school. I didn't really didn't want to go back to school. Like I was kind of burnt out of school and I didn't want another job. So I thought, what's the point of getting an MBA if it's just going to teach me how to get a job? But I also I looked at finding a mentor and I actually knew this guy who was an amazing entrepreneur. Um, and, you know, in the, in the job I used to have, I actually got to meet a lot of entrepreneurs. And this guy was just absolutely amazing. I mean, he he came to the U.S. from Hungary, I think, and had nothing. You know, and, and if if you talk to a lot of people of their generation, you hear this story a lot. You know, they come here with, with you know, like literally dollars in their pocket. And that's it. That's everything they own. They don't know anybody. And they're able, you know, he was able to start um, a few different businesses. Uh, he started a machine shop uh, basically because he was able to, he was this really smart engineer and he was able to solve a problem that other people either couldn't solve or didn't want to take the time to solve. And because he was able to solve this problem of how to build something, it basically, you know, allowed him to build this successful business. And um, then he started a couple other businesses and ultimately um, he bought a winery and was running that, and I really wanted to go work for him, but um, kind of hesitated and wasn't sure and and ended up not pursuing that route. Um, but what I think I really needed was um, I wanted something that was similar to, to, to a traditional education that had that structure and that, like, I don't know if prestige is the right word, but it had, like, um, that didn't seem too shady you know because sometimes online things you never know like sometimes it seems a little shady like who are these people and are they going to take my money and disappear <laughs> right and so i wanted something that had that was kind of structured and formal 
but also flexible. But I wanted something that was very like practical and hybridized of like, you know, do this, do this, do this, right? Because a lot of the, um, if you go to like some of the night school classes or the, the small business education centers, they've got that sort of like very like practical aspect of like, oh, you need to fill out this form and create your entity and you need to make this, you know, get a business bank account. And and they've, they've got that hybrid side, but they don't have like the other side that's that's similar to like a business school that's like the higher level, right? They're more, more like for people that want to start kind of a local small business. And I wanted something kind of in the middle. Um, and that didn't, you know, it wasn't something that I could find or really existed, but I, I think that I found it. I think it exists and I found it now. And, um, and it's called the Entre Institute, um, founded by Jeff Lerner. And this link here will take you to his, his, um, his kind of introductory page where he kind of talks about himself and who he is and his background and what he does. And, um, I've been involved with them for some time now and um i just love it i can't you know i'm telling everyone about it and um i think it's i think it's i think he's tapped into something i think this is the future of, of how things are going and i think you should check it out he's got like an introductory course which is i think it's 39 dollars or something and it's it's actually really good he really breaks down um you know the, the best online business models but also he, he kind of goes through the whole life cycle of going from starting a business being a business owner and then building that into something that's like um like like a, a bigger greater legacy um so he really he really takes a kind of all-encompassing approach and shares a lot of really good information and um so i definitely recommend checking it out so thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon and i'd love to hear your thoughts and comments all right take care and have a great day